Today on Neko no Tsuki, we're taking a trip with our feline friends. This time around, we're casting off from northeastern Honshu to visit a small island which has captured the hearts of thousands worldwide. Thanks to the popularity of cats on the internet, you've likely already heard of Tashirojima, though perhaps you know it by its more common English name, Cat Island. Through media exposure on a myriad of websites over the years, this small landmass has gained a cult following as a promised land for cat lovers, and in turn has become a popular tourist destination for animal fans visiting Japan. With such a wave of adoration sweeping the net, it was only a matter of time before someone came around and made a proper film concerning Tashirojima. That film arrived in 2016 under the name Cat Heaven Island. Director Landon Donahoe has worked producing advertising and music videos for half a decade. In 2014, he and his crew were given the opportunity to visit Tashirojima and record the local humans and cats. The Tohoku earthquake in early 2011 and its impact on the area drew Donahoe's attention. In turn, he wished to see how the population of Tashirojima had been affected by this disaster. Over the course of about a month, Donahoe and company got to know the locals, the aging humans and their feline companions, as well as the ins and outs of their complex friendships and reliance on one another. Interviews with the elderly human population composed the bulk of Cat Heaven Island. They discussed topics concerning the island's history over the previous hundred years, as well as just why the feral cat population has reached such a high number. In 2015, post-production and release of the film was successfully funded on Kickstarter, garnering almost $34,000 on a $25,000 goal. In 2016, the film was picked up by Journeyman Pictures and released online on Amazon, Google Play, Vimeo, and iTunes for your viewing pleasure. Tashirojima is in essence a tiny island with a tiny population. At one point in the 1900s, there were over a thousand humans inhabiting this small landmass, measuring just over one square mile. For reference, that's just a little bit smaller than New York's Central Park. In the present day, however, less than 100 humans live on the island. Fascinatingly, most of them have lived there for their entire lives, many being born before or during World War II. One woman who grew up on Toshirojima remarks upon eating a hamburger during a barbecue that she has never tasted beef in her life, a sign of the island's separation from the mainland. A small contingent of younger inhabitants have also come to call Tashirojima home, mostly for the sake of helping tend to the cat population and to try and make the area a commercially viable tourist attraction. At this point, many more cats live on the island than humans. Though feral, the cats of Cat Island are known to be quite amiable, selecting their favorite humans and bonding with them. In the film, we see how all of the humans are friends with specific cats, like the young helper bringing his cat to the island shrine, or the fisherman whose cat waits patiently for her dinner whenever he comes in with the day's catch. Many of the island's inhabitants know the names of numerous felines, listing them off along with their character traits in quick succession. The island is also home to several cat-themed landmarks, such as the Manga Inn, named for the once-promised then cancelled residence of Shotaro Ishinomori, creator of Cyborg 009, Kamen Rider, and other major series. The inn is painted up like a giant cat, and decorated with illustrations of felines inside. The other, perhaps most prominent landmark, is the Cat Shrine at the center of the island. Like other feline-inclined shrines erected throughout Japan, such as Nabujinja, which thanks the cats who helped keep mice at bay during silk production, the shrine on Tashirojima pays tribute to the cats of the island. In addition to this mouse population control, the cats of Tashirojima are thought to have helped fishermen predict the weather and upcoming fish populations and harvests. The actions of the cats would give clues as to the fishermen's future prospects in these regards. The cat god of Nekojinja, Tashirojima's cat shrine, is thought to house the spirit of a cat accidentally killed by fishermen while working with rocks and fishing nets. Not wanting to anger this cat god, we witness an old paper mache parade float left in disrepair. The residents believe it was broken thanks to the god's wrath, and wish not to incur it once more by meddling. Cat Heaven Island is a story in three parts, concerning the aged, the young, and the cats that bond these two groups. Over the course of the film, Donahoe and his translator go one by one through the residents of the island. Through interviews, we learn about their occupations and positions on Tashirojima. From the island elder to the woman running the only shop in the area, we examine how each of them has contributed to the history of Tashirojima and its culture of cat affection, as well as their anxieties about the island slowly declining. 
On the other hand, we examine the stories of the young, these few charitable souls who have come to the island wishing to help reinvigorate it and assist the elderly. They bring goods from the mainland and help support reconstruction after the Tohoku earthquake. What's more, we encounter a duo of veterinarians who make periodic visits to Tashirojima to ensure that the cat population is happy and healthy. Collectively, these younger folk help to cease the decay of Tashirojima and ensure its continued survival. We believe it's important that the filmmakers included a scene touching on the visits of local veterinarians to the island. It's a sad truth that about 75% of the animals euthanized annually in Japan are cats. Many family-owned cats are given free access to the outside world, and, while spaying and neutering practices are on the rise, they haven't been handled the same way as they have been in other countries. There is also less of a push in Japan for prospective owners to adopt from local shelters, instead choosing to purchase new family members from pet shops. Through the hard work of rescue groups in larger cities, however, this practice is slowly changing. It's nice to see that the members of Tashirojima support the intervention of veterinary care for the cats inhabiting their island. As with Hachichojima, the shooting location for Battle Royale, this island was never a mega-sized population center, and also like Hachichojima, Cat Island has seen the closure of its school due to the lack of a youth presence. But those visiting Tashirojima wish to keep the island alive and thriving. The important difference between Hachijojima and Tashirojima is that Tashirojima has a specific draw to travelers both Japanese and foreign, that being its lovable feline presence. Cats have had a place in Japanese culture for quite some time. The history of cats in Japan goes back nearly 2,000 years when felines were transported, likely from China, to help reduce mice and rat populations in Buddhist temples. There's even some speculation that the Maneki Neko, or beckoning cat, which we discussed in our episode on Rent-A-Cat, may have developed from the good fortune these cats brought to the temples in saving the ancient script scrolls from rodent damage. Of course, other explanations of the Maneki Neko's origin exist, and we'll discuss those in other episodes of Neko no Tsuki. As popularity in cats grew, they became part of everyday life with instances of cats living in the imperial palace. In the case of one imperially owned cat by the name of Myobu no Otoro, it's been said that she wore a red collar, an image mirrored in the documentary by Endo and his cat Chameko. Over time, people of lower social status were able to keep cats, and they became widespread helpers protecting silkworm populations from pests. By the Edo period, most of the cats living in Japan had been natively born and raised, as opposed to being imported from other countries. It was around this time that the iconic Japanese cat, or otherwise cats with short tails, made their appearance. According to reports from Japan Times, the bobtail in Japanese cats is a recessive trait. Considering that Japan was relatively closed off from the rest of the world during this time period, the chance for inbreeding was increased. Thus, it makes sense that a trait which was otherwise unlikely to occur began to show itself. Once Japan opened its doors again, the dominant long-tail trait once again took hold, though the shorter cat tail can still be seen in many of the feral cats roaming the streets today, such as those seen in today's subject. How the Tons people interact with the cats on Tashirojima is remarkable given how these borderline wild animals bond with the residents. The humans know all of their feline co-inhabitants by name, allowing the cats to make the rules. The cats of Tashirojima essentially choose which humans they like and who to be friends with, leading to specific bonds between individuals rather than a faceless horde of animals wanting nothing more than food. In this way, the film expresses the bond between human and cat in a two-directional manner. It shows effectively how the cats enrich the lives of the humans and vice versa. They provide companionship to one another, being individuals who are somewhat independent rather than reliant on each other. The cats and humans thus act more as equals than as masters and pets. There's also the added bonus that the island may have a bright future thanks to the cats. Given the power of the internet and the universal love for felines online, Tashirojima is now perhaps more well known than ever previously. Cat Heaven Island is a compelling documentary that expresses all of these qualities and serves as one of the most recent examples of Tashirojima's prominence and the influence of cats on our world.